YouTube and welcome to a very special episode where we are going back in time to a time where me and Max were in the 80s and Back to the Future just came out. No, 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 seriously, people, that, that'd be stupid. Let's come on, come in, people. And welcome to a city that was never seen before. Back when James had a wife, remember? Oh. Well, thank you for a plot spoiler. But, anyways, this is the city of the mighty Lemus. Vast in his glory. Oh. And. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. Oh, well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, I'm not sure if I'm doing this right at all. Music people. See what you're saying. Anyways, this is the city of Lemus. And it was actually going to be the next. The next adventure for Shredder Jame and Borkshark in the Fall of Cryo series. And. What a sad event that was. For any of you who remember what the Fall of Cairo series was, or don't remember, basically it was um, one of our first first videos right after the pyramids, mm -hmm. right? And it was just a series that we picked up, kind of like Shadow of Israfel, and not like storyline or anything, but kind of like that as far as, you know, it's a planned out, pre-made kind of map that they explore. Yeah, we, we, yeah. Sorry. I, I didn't mean to do up. Sorry. That's good. Cool. That's fine. And basically, uh, this was, uh, we released two episodes of um, Fall of Cairo to the world, to YouTube whoever watched us at that time. But anyway, we released two episodes at that time, and we were working on a third, which involved this magnificent... Magnificent... Magnificent. <laughs> yes, magnificent. The magnificent city of Lemus, which is now slowly and surely loading. So basically, uh, Lemus was kind of the next plot point in here, and James, you want to take it away with the history? Um, what do you mean? Specifically, what history? <laughs> well, like, uh, you know, basically... The storyline at the time. Oh, the storyline! That's going to be fun to explain. Basically, the storyline of this will be, and will be, bleh, was to be, that's better, that's better grammar there. Thank you, Max. I didn't do anything, but I love random thank yous, so you're welcome. Okay, um, but this was the episode of where we were going to, we were going to rise from the dead, essentially. Um, basically come back in an era that has ended for us and come into this new world with new changes and uh, we would see like old things and new things. It was, if you guys have ever seen Samurai Jack, it was kind of like that, except we weren't, actually, wait, 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 we were trying to defeat a dark overlord, so, <laughs> I think, Max, I just realized, I think we ripped off the, ripped, ripped, uh, ripped, off to the entire plot of Samurai Jack. So, anyone that wants... I've never seen Samurai Jack, so not my problem. Um, okay, so he never saw it, but I did, so... If you ever want to know the full gist of the story, just go to SamuraiJack.com. A very... <laughs> anyway, that is also a good show. You should... And whoever... Whoever decided to cancel that show should really go die somewhere. That was a really excellent show. Okay. I agree, even though I've never seen it. Um, so basically, this is Lemus. Yeah, this is Lemus. I, we just wanted to kind of show it because this is this is our one-year anniversary, and this city has always been in the back of our minds. You know, we never quite forgot about it, even though we abandoned the series, and I, I'm not going to explain how we abandoned the series or why. Just too much work, to be honest. Yeah. I, uh, it wasn't. It wasn't because we weren't trying to put up energy, because we put up we put up a lot of energy into it every day. To try to get this to work, but it just eventually never did. And you know, some good things did come out of this. I'm I'm not gonna deny this. Um, one of the good, for example, for example, um, we have a Max learned a little bit more about how, what it means to kind of get the audio tuning right. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we learned a little bit about our building skills, massive building. Um, we or lack thereof. Yeah. We also learned how to create very straight roads and and make this city look very natural. Because I would like to point this out right now. We built this city entirely ourselves. Entirely. Yes. <laughs> this is people might say, "Oh, this is not amazing." You guys try to build this. You try to build this, and you guys will see. This is not easy. <laughs> <laughs> it's considering we're not builders either. We're adventurers, and yeah, we like to we play the game. We don't build it. Yeah, that was the and that's that's really yeah. That was really the high maintenance point was because we couldn't just keep building stuff in, and we couldn't because this took about maybe a two week period 
of us building. And oh god, yeah, I know. We started early January, right? Yeah, we started early January. I think we ended like at like late January, and then we tried to record, and it it didn't quite work out. But anyways, just to just to memorize this old city, this we're gonna show you one of an actual clip from what our original storyline was going to be. Um, it, it's a little bit confusing. Um, basically, me and Max just woke up, and we just read this really interesting archaeologist journal, which was also a good point of a good plot, but, um, I don't know. You guys will see when when it'll happen, so roll the clip. Roll the clip. Now, do you see? Yeah, but, I mean, couldn't it just be, like, a mystery novel or something? I mean, it never said it was, oh, look, a creeper on the wall, over there. What? Over there, on the wall. I don't see anything. <sighs> idiot. Anyway, couldn't it be just some kind of like mystery novel or something? I mean, it never said it was real, right? I thought the same thing as you until I found the corpse of the dead archaeologist. Oh. Did you loot him? Yeah. What did he have? Two arrows. I don't why know do why. I have a torch and two bones in my inventory? What were you I throwing don't... at me while I was reading? Yeah, I was trying to get your attention because it was getting nighttime and I was getting bored of listening to you talking. I see. Okay, so, you know, what should we do now, man? What should we do? Uh, want to just, like, walk toward the castle and see if we can find anything of any value to take with us? Because we're going to have to leave this place pretty soon, and you know it. Yeah. I don't really want to stay around here much longer after reading that journal. <laughs> Neither do I. Especially since there's all these creepy things, which... I don't really, I don't really know what these are. They might be skeletons or they might be zombies. I don't know. But let us be off, man. Let us be off to the castle. But do you know the way? Because I don't. <laughs> yeah, you really need to get your eyesight checked. Over here, up here, on this road, and see, look, creepers. They're everywhere. I don't see these creepers. What are you talking about? I'm inside a hole right now. Didn't you just hear that explosion? I hear explosions, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's a creeper. Do you really think I'm lighting TNT off over here? Yes, I don't see any type of creeper. Why would I light TNT off? Wait, Maxwell. Yep. Don't leave. Do you remember this building over here? Oh, yeah. Why are the troops, Maxwell? Where are all the troops? This is kind of annoying. Where are they? They said they'd be here right now, and they're not. I know! Blasphemy. Uh, are you a messenger? Huh. What? Okay. You gave me a piece of paper, and on it says, Dear Knights, you are requested at the palace immediately. The Queen has prepared something special for you. Hmm, I like the sound of that. You and okay. your... Ah, never mind. We might as well go. Oh. Hey, wait for me! <laughs> Slowpoke. Good day. Good day. Good day, everyone. Hello. Hello. Will you stop flirting? <laughs> you know what? I, I guess that is a good idea since the queen's over there. Pretty much. Ah, Lemus. This city is so beautiful. Been the same thing that attacked uh, Cryro? Could have been. I mean, it's logical and I could see it happening, but. <gasps> And then I sliced him in half. You should have seen the look on it. What are you waiting for? Come on. Hurry um, up. I, I, think I, sh I think I'll think i just stay right here while you go in. No. Oh, I know why you're nervous. Queen um, likes you, you know. I know. That's the scary part. She Come likes on, you me. big baby. <sighs> no. Uh, okay. Well, I, I, guess, I guess it's just dinner. It's just dinner, it'll be fine. Okay. Just sit down, stuff your face, and then leave. Okay, yeah, it's it's not like anything's really gonna happen, I mean... We're just friends, I think. We've been friends for our whole entire lives. It'll Nothing be will fine, happen. trust me. Yeah, I'll, I'll believe you, man. Wow, once such great architecture just lost to the world. I know. It was once a beautiful place where dancing, eating, and... Gardens were built. Oh, they had now, the best food. They did. Those nachos. Mm. Oh my god. Let us continue, man. 
We must confront this. After you. are back and um that was the clip of i think like one of the last parts i think it was episode four that was going to be released in somewhere around there yeah yeah um but yeah that was the clip that that was going to go on the original plot lines and as you can see it was honestly well crafted in my opinion for well that at time least in our youtubing especially yes for that time in our youtubing um it was well crafted in the terms of our audio. I mean, if, uh, just imagine, take all of our audio from Fall of Cryo and Down. And that's basically, wait, no, no. Um, like, let's say Sea of Flames and Down, okay? And you can see our audio wasn't really that good. Yeah, and so what, what do we, we started using Skype around that time, right? Yeah, about that time. That's the only reason why it sounds good. <laughs> Um, but that's about the time when we started using, like, higher-end, higher-end stuff, and it, it started to come together into this really magnificent place. And, um, I really can't complain. Now, um, I should also explain the jokes of, of, of the Creeper. Um, <laughs> why don't I believe in, why don't I believe in a Creeper? Well... Basically, in the beginning episodes, in Fall Cryo, you, you see people, we were actually making sure all of our things made sense. Instead of, like, you know, some show, some shows that randomly add in this new twister that, you know, contradicts this thing, we were trying to keep very historically accurate with, like, everything. Like Jersey Shore. Oh, thanks. <laughs> um, thanks. That, that's a good show. Yeah. Yeah, we all love it, don't we? are historically accurate, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Go Jersey. Um, but, yeah, we basically just powered, powered through it and made sure that everything made sense. And the creeper joke was actually in one of the episodes where I said, Max kept trying to point out creepers, and I said, I don't know what a creeper is, and I don't believe in them. Kind of like so there was Santa was, Claus, almost. Yeah, kind of like there was Santa Claus. Max, it was kind of be one of the plot points. Max was always going to see him, and I'm just going to be like, what the heck? Why is there a big, gigantic crater here? But there was a creeper! Max, wasn't. stop playing with TNT now. <laughs> yeah, basically that. And don't ask me how we got TNT without killing creepers. We never thought that much ahead. <laughs> okay. But anyways, the, there were some other interesting notes too. There were, like for example, um, right at the beginning after we finished reading the archaeology journal, uh, the archaeology journal was read in kind of an old, um, decrepit. Almost dying, strained Irish accent. Actually, could we have a little bit of that strained, decrepit Irish voice? Um, I'll that's see if I can do it again. Fun. After Wait, guys yeah, approaching, let's we finally reached these runes. We think that they are the runes of the city of Lemus. We have heard of many such places around the world like this. According to our teachings, they were simply the victims of natural disasters. And at the end, oh. it kind of faded into a Japanese voice there, but... Yeah. <laughs> It was very... That was basically the gist of it. That was going to be archaeologist journal, but we had, like, pages and pages of other things. You but, that? you know, you know, while we're recording, it's very... You know, it was very important to us to try to get that accent right and everything, so... Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to say that, people. Just, just wanted to say that. <laughs> Another thing that was interesting is, uh, 
right after we, we woke up, uh, James went and looted the archaeologist who was just barely long gone. He was like, he just died a couple days ago, and James went over and rooted his ro- looted his rotting corpse and gave me two arrows. Oh, also, Andy. another thing to mention there was uh, the torch and I think two feathers or something that I had in my inventory were from previous attempts at that, where James would, where I'd say, did you loot the body? And he'd say, yeah, I need to throw me stuff, and I forgot to get rid of him before that take in the video. Yeah, so that was an outtake, everyone. Outtakes, and... It- I actually just realized something. I throw two bones at you. Oh, yeah. So, where did the bones come from? Yeah, I, I really. Was kind of, I was <laughs> kind of thinking of this when I was when I was watching that clip again, because we had no clue, people. I was actually just throwing random objects I was finding while I was killing skeletons while he was weeding it. So, um, basically, I got two bones, and I just threw them at him, and now I kind of, kind of think, where the heck did I get the bones? <laughs> and why would um, he have bones with him, so... Yeah, you guys, I'll leave it up to you guys, maybe to create some fan fiction here. <laughs> Anyways, so that was another interesting note, but the most important interesting note, I think Max will say, because I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> we decided that this story, well, alright, well, let's t- take a look at pop culture real quick. What makes things popular? What makes Twilight popular? Aside from glittering vampires, it's a love the story. More um, glittering um, werewolves? Oh, or were they werewolves? Well, whatever. There was something that's like blood and killed people and they glittered. Does it matter? So basically... <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry, I've never seen Twilight. I saw Vampires Suck. So everything I know about Twilight comes from that movie. So, basically though, um, we, we were looking at all these movies in pop culture and we were saying, what makes them popular? Well, a love story, basically. That and action, killing, explosions, fire, sound effects, animation, none of which we really had. Except for the action part, maybe. And we also, at this point, were looking into animation. Remember, James? Yeah, at this point, we, we were really thinking of our uh, YouTubing. We still... That was when we still had dreams, Max. It was. And we still had a future. And then I realized it was second animation, so we moved on. But at any rate, <laughs> we decided to have a love story in this. Where, yeah. uh, in, uh, in this palace over here, this one you can see over here, was a queen who lived... Queen, right? Yep. Yeah, who was a queen yeah. who lived there who took a liking to James. And uh, as you saw in the Fall of Cryro video or not the Fall of Cairo, the uh, Transformations, we called it, video that you just saw. Uh, James was kind of really nervous to go in there, and he was like, I think I'll just wait back here. No, you big baby, come on. After I was telling him about this awesome story about how I sliced someone's head off and sliced him in half, and they were like, ah. I, I actually want to hear the rest of that story someday. <laughs> <laughs> I know, we were just like, well, what do we start with? And then you should have seen the expression on the guy's face, and I sliced him in half. Oh, James, where are you? And so, yeah, it, we didn't really have a story behind that at all. Another interesting fact. But yeah, James had kind of an affair or a relationship with that woman, but the funny part is, while he was walking there, he was hitting on, like, ladies as he walked by, standing right next to their husbands. He, well, I did the same thing back in Fall of Quiet, if you remember that. I do. <laughs> and both times so that, it was equally awkward. So that was, so was going to be one of those kind of things that we were going to add in, just kind of that I did before I was, like, hitting on massive amounts of women. I was, I had at least one major love and then a bunch on that. the side while he wasn't there. Oh, thanks. I, and I don't know if we gonna, I don't know if we kept it PG or if we went all the way to R. I, I don't know. We never really got that. We point didn't get our animation that good, so it stayed at PG thirteen. <laughs> yeah. Trust me, you're welcome. So. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so that's it, there was there was a little bit more of the backstory. But like, I think, I think where. Um, I'm trying to remember this. This was this was one of those major plot points that was really interesting that we came up with, and that we don't remember. Basically, I think there was some kind of tragedy, and you know, she was. I think she was still around, alive back in Fall of Cryo, but I think she died simultaneously after that. And it, we were going in future episodes. We were gonna try to deal with the kind of crushing, soul sucking damage of that, but it never quite worked out. Yeah, because we never really got to that point. But it would have been very interesting. And James was like, oh my god, here's your dead body. Uh, uh, mm. Yes, it, w- it would have been quite interesting to see the rest of that turn out. Because that, cause that really was a kind of an interesting plot point. And it's sad to say that this city will remain buried for the rest of its years. Mm-hmm.